Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again. We are back. We are back again. Sorry for the intermissions, but you know, life life has been uh, you know been good. That's because you're living life. We have been grateful. Enjoy it. You know, the whole team is smiling. The, the we have extra spring on you know, us. Especially when our so our ex producer. Don't don't let's not blast them. Let's, let's not okay. blast them. Okay. We're not blast them. We're not blast them. But we thank God for for everything. Yes, guys. God has been great. God has been beautiful. Jesus is king. In our lives. <laughs> you know, Jesus even though said. Jesus is king. Oh, no, let's never go there. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't heard an album yet. Really? But welcome to another episode of Big Loud Mouth. Shit, What, the, the album? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm, 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 this is not what to start, but I'm not always a fan of listening to an album because someone tells me to listen to it. I'm always, I'm a Kanye fan. I, eventually, I will listen to it. It took me like a year to listen to Jesus. To be fair, I so, still have to listen to Jesus. Yeah, it took me about a year to I listen to Jesus. So, that ain't gonna change. Uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, put it on their Insta story. Oh, Jesus is cute, Jesus is cute. Listen. Yeah, I think when we listen to it, we'll do a proper, we'll do a proper Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I, I don't, I don't know. The there's a few reasons I need to get off my chest, but it's cool. No, the, the good thing is I don't know what to expect, so I'm happy. I've seen, uh, you know, one or two comments here and there. <laughs> I don't know what to expect, so yeah. that makes me very, very happy. So it's interesting. It's a good album. One of you um, might have to give me your Spotify account, because I'm not paying for that again. I don't have, I have my my hands is uh you know what you know what they call it the family package. <laughs> That's what I'm using. I did. You have to provide me your Spotify. I know. Account. I know. I can I'll log that. in and then you can log out. But you got this. I'm sure your missus can sort something out for you. What? She got this. She got you. In terms of. She got you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> she got you. Oh, Osaru. She got you, fam. She got Osaru. you. She got you. All right, guys. Uh. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Those of you guys that are listening that don't subscribe, you just listen or as you. If you like, like subscribe. You if you like, don't subscribe. But please subscribe. We are begging. Actually, we are, we are begging. We have been stuck on seventy subscribers for a while. <laughs> I was just begging you, man. We, we are begging. Please, please. We will change scenery. I hope you guys like the new scenery. Um, that was that we posted last week. Um, we invested in this couch. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. consistent. We invested um, in this couch. You know, gone are the days. You know, of those. Um, anyway, as well. <laughs> because of our previous background, some people had to resign from the from the original post. We tango and continue. It's okay. That's still part of the team. I can't believe somebody resigned because of background. <laughs> How can you resign because of background? Because of yellow cotton, you resign. It's okay, God is in control. Cool. It's fine. It's well, it's well, it's well, it's well. I want to talk about something really interesting that's been happening. Um, well, I, I believe it happens a lot in the UK, but the B BBC Africa... I wouldn't say a lot, though. I definitely... You, you read it on newspaper all the time. The only difference is that... It happens in secondary school with that teacher happens, and that yeah, It happens a lot in the UK. And they, the they, they look to France together. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It happens a lot in the UK. The only difference is that it, the reason behind the principle is a little bit different. It doesn't. It, does, it, isn't, it isn't done as like a trade by battle sort of situation. Mm. It's done out of love and feelings and intentions. Whereas in I don't know about in it. Africa, right? Let's not say in Africa because some African countries might not be practicing that. Let's, okay. They might not be involved. In Nigeria because I'm Nigerian and I'm Ghana. I'm Ghana, my brothers. I'm Ghana. <laughs> it happens a lot. In Ghana. Yeah. In Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> And then Nigeria. Mainly Ghana. And Nigeria. <laughs> Just because we wanted to go out the long throat. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, um, that happens a lot. And it's down to just basically sex for great. Right? I think that, that's the name of the show. Yeah. Um, I, for me, like, I've, I've, watched, I've watched this probably tw uh, four times. I would uh, say, I'd say four times. Why? Because the first three times I watched it, I, it was, I, I didn't watch it seriously. I, I, it was funny to me. Right. Not because, or I was shocked, <laughs> but because I know this is the norm. Yeah. Right? So it was funny to me. I wasn't, I, I struggled to empathize. To be honest, I think. I to them. be honest, I think anybody who watches it for the first time mm -hmm. would actually chuckle, not at the at what's happening, but because of some words that were said that were used by the perpetrators. <laughs> there were words where even as a young person, you would never try that kind of bars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, let's not laugh about it. But you know, it's so hard to to convince yourself. Like, listen, like the romance, the level of romance is just poor. 
It was just poor. Because uh. basically, what this, basically what they're saying is that yo, like, if you want to pass this grade, if you want to pass this, you know, this course, or you want to get a good degree at a university, mm. you know, if, if you no, what's that? What's that? What's that video? If you think you can pass this class without, without sucking my, mm. <laughs> that's basically it, really. That's it, and. First time I watched it, I was just like, okay, cool. Like, because I know it happens, it's something mm. that is very well known in Ghana. Like, because I know it's very well known in Ghana. Like, I, I, Are you shifting blame? <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. The documentary <laughs> took place in, in Nigeria mainly. Yeah. But then it was extended to Ghana because, you know, there were reports of uh, sexual harassment going on in, uh, in, uh, on campus in the higher education higher higher education Asian. department of, mm-hmm. uh, of, of university ghana. of ghana and the funny thing is this university is actually the top top university I, I think i do have a problem though when the lady was trying to emphasize on how important these universities are like i'd say unilag which university of lagos and as everybody who is not lagosian or who is not nigerian when they go say they are going to nigeria your land in lagos the university is not far from where you party on the island in my far, it's not that far. It's about like maybe 40 minutes or so without traffic. So, so you're always going to be traffic. Gonna there's be always going to be traffic, so you can <laughs> multiply that by three. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the thing is, it's the fact that this is happening in the top universe. But one thing I didn't agree with the lady who was narrate, the narrator, actually, was when she was trying to say, oh, presidents go to this university. Let's be factual. Presidents in Nigeria and Ghana, we've never had a female president. So using that term, presidents go to you. Nah, no, she no, 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 no. You, you, are misunderstood. She mm-hmm. took it. She took it from a standpoint of how prestigious the university is. It's like, for instance, University of. It's a lie. No president goes to Unilag. Our current president does not even have Yale. He does not have uh, a Our current president does not have Waik. <laughs> Come on, old level. Buari does not have. Now, nah, but you have to stand here yeah, when he became. Papa Sonjo was a military man, no old level. So tell me who, which all, important people are going to. Papa Sonjo went to University of Lagos. He done his, his PhD. Certificate, what does he say? He done his PhD there. Check the one that you pay to qualify. Nah, but it's not. Let's not even go there. The topic is it is abysmal, atrocious. You know, I don't want to say I'm surprised, but after watching the documentary, it just brought to life the reality of fear which you think exists. I mean, it goes long way back to like hearing Idris Abdul Karim's song, Mr. Lecturer. Oh my God, can you save my no, soul? No, uh, Bimba, Bimba, yeah. oh yeah, me. The, the thing is, yeah, in Nigeria, that, that was a club. Well, that, that was a banger. It was a club banger. It was a banger. It was a, till today, if you play in a party, yeah, the aunties. Nigerian artists in the UK now that were sexually harassed in Nigeria <laughs> that will sing along. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's true though. It's true. They're, they're Nigerian, Excuse me, sir. I don't know what to do. 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 <laughs> like I'm, I'm telling you, they're, they're Nigerian aunties. Yeah, and uncles. Let's not. I don't want to believe. I want to believe that maybe there's a very tiny percentage of men who are probably. I, I, no, I don't right. believe that. So. No, 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 I want to say. I want no, to I, say. I, no, you don't. You can't write. See, the, I, yeah, the reason I think you have to write stuff is because okay. I'm patriarchal. My nudes. No, I don't think it's my. I think it's okay. non-existent. Okay, non-existent. Because for me, I don't want to. You know, leave both sex houses. Oh wait, out. forget, forget, okay, forget fine, all, fine. all this, all this fine. people. Idris Abdul Karim sang that song. It was a banger. And now I'm starting to think the reason why that song was a banger is because it's true. Yeah, of course. Every single, every single buzz in that song is true. It's real life. Because when, when you look at it, right, it's like, then, as a young person, you're singing a song because it, it... And he was touching on a very sensitive subject, mm-hmm. but in a way where people can relate. Mm-hmm. But obviously, that was probably overlooked by many people. Yeah. But the, the, the point is, you know... How can we, you know, let something like that as a system, as a country in Nigeria, where let's not forget, Nigeria is not a jungle as people make it seem to be. Mm-hmm. There are rules, mm-hmm. and there, there, there are rules, but obviously there are rules. There are rules for the rich and there are rules for the poor. There are rules for the privileged and there are rules for the less privileged. But these lecturers are poor. They don't have money to control things. Nah, nah. I, I, I just Hold on, I'm going somewhere. It. They don't have money to control things. They don't have money to direct things. Because we know in Nigeria, especially in Lagos, money speaks. Mm-hmm. These lecturers are not that paid. They're not that well paid. Yeah, for them to have so 
you know, get away with away from the law, mm -hmm. basically. In the school campus, they can get away with things because obviously there's there's a caucus where everyone sits in and they all do it, so how can you point fingers? You mm -hmm. don't want to be able to. But I'm saying in the extension of the law, they don't have enough money to get away with stuff. Yeah, but you have, you're, you're missing a very massive part of what you're about to say. You have to understand that all of this thing is an, it's, it's part of the institution. Mm. You've got men in powers at university telling underprivileged majority of the time, mm innocent and vulnerable women that for them to pass their class they have to sleep with them bear in mind these women are coming from a background where it's probably one of them or at best two probably of the them of the family to go to, to, go to un university so their whole family has saved up for this child to go to university and now you're saying to this child listen if you don't if you don't the guy goes on camera mm. he says if you don't pick up my call when i call you then I'll I know you're disobedient. I'm going to tell you that you're disobedient. I mean, let, let's let's dissect. That's, that's, that's an let's, advantage. Let's, He's taking full advantage think, of power. Let's let's do let's do the documentary a uh, uh, very big justice. Yeah. Let's let's dissect it first. So, the documentary starts with the narrator talking about sexual harassment. Yeah, and and how students have been sexually harassed. And right? her Actually. background. And, and her happened, background. What happened to her? I'm going to jump right into the middle because yeah. I, I think she didn't. She doesn't really go into deep into why she went to uni. Like, I mean, nah, she obviously she just went to uni to to study. She wanted to be a doctor. Yeah. And her father had passed away from appendicitis, mm -hmm. right? And that even pushed her even more to want to go to uni, even though she's been told as a young kid, "You're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a doctor." You know, she goes to uni, and then a lecturer. Holds a result for two years. Mm -hmm. Now I know we're talking about sexual harassment, but this is even done to other students who are not willing to bribe lecturers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her result was held for two years. How can you hold someone's result for two years because they failed to sleep with you? That's what I'm saying. It's just, the only way that can happen because it, it's a systematic problem it's something that everybody knows that it's the, the lecturer knows that if she was to report he's gonna get away with it because he's got other people other means of of holding that of, of saying to, of proving mm. why he's innocent why she's a liar why she should fail the class right because at the end of the day there isn't a body to to an understanding that regulates how grading is done Right, especially at that high, le high level. Nothing is computerized. Right? Exactly. So, whereas here, for instance, yes, your lecturers will be the end or and be all of your university degree. They tell you what your your course and is worth. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, they're also governed by a marking body. Yeah. Whereas I don't think so. I don't think that applies in Nigeria. So somebody can hold your grade, and if you say, "Oh, I'm, you, you're going to report," there's a body that grades them. I know, but who's going to but? Who are they going to report to when they know that the person that the person that they could potentially be mm. reporting this man to is also part of the, the also part of the system? He's probably even asking for body for grade. Right? <laughs> exactly. So he's like, he's probably going to say to her, "Yeah, I can get your grade for you, right? But you have to sleep with me." So she's in double jeopardy. Now let, let let's just look at it from you know. I, I wanted to say, may we not end up in, in a situation like that, but if any of us end up in a situation like that, where you're the perpetrator, I would even kill you myself. Yeah, I don't have no... If any of my friends in that situation, but... Oh boy, no comment. Hold on. Go in, go, let, let's... let's <laughs> it's, it's, who are your friends? <laughs> That's what we need to yeah, answer. I'm telling you, there's so many wow. people... Fam, you might have friends who... Let's, wow. let's, let's, let's not even... Let's so not I see some of your friends, though. Yo. <laughs> All of my friends are normal people. They are very, very normal. You are my friend too. I, 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 <laughs> you are not my me friend you. too. You are I, my I, friend. I, I, so if you, are, if you are saying some of my friends, don't put yourself in the same company. That's all I'm saying. But talking from a man's point of view, what exactly can make you, as a man, think sex is a, should be a form of payment? Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Don't even, that's a stupid question. It's not a stupid question. It's a very stupid question. It's, it's a very, not a stupid, very, question. Very stupid question. It really isn't. It is. Because you're, you're looking at people that are in a position of authority, right? Knowing that they can get away with everything that they put their mind to do. Also, like, sex is a big thing. But what I'm saying Like, you're is... talking about, he's, like, first of all, forget the fact that, mm. you know, the position of authority, like, just sex in general, Right, it's a big thing in that community. Let me, let me. You're seeing university students day and day. You're, right? you're me as, as he said, prime, prime females. Right, that's what they're seeing. 
we're, we're going to go into so the words that were used. You can't just say you We're can't going say to that. go into the words that were used, yeah, it, very soon. But what I'm saying, the reason why I'm telling you, I, I, I asked that question, I said it's not a stupid question, is the fact that there's money to be uh, to be requested, which is, is doesn't make it any better. Listen, it's not even about, if, if it was money, like money would have been a lot better. But that's what I'm saying, but, no. No, but that's the thing, because it's, it's, he, he talked about, the, the reason I'm saying that, because just based on this documentary, they yeah. talked about the cold room, which is this legendary room where all sorts of orgies happens in this room with students that are, bear in mind, your students are 17, 19, 18, right? In Lagos, mm. age of consent is 19. 18, 18 no, it's 19. Is it 18? Yes, in Lagos, age of consent is 19. Are you sure? I think it's 18. Yeah, it's 18. Bro, you know what? The documentary is 19. So at this stage, you're, you're having, you're trying to seduce underage females. And they do it in this room that's called the cold room. I mean, the professor Boniface in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the, the uni lag lecturer, he was even a pastor. And the girl comes into the room. I, I think. <coughs> yeah, we're there to leave Please. the old pastor. No, thing no, 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 no. We have to go back. Yeah, started. You know, this, you know the other episode when I said if your pastor is fat, how can he fast for you? This is why I question. This is why I question about 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 some pastors. Yeah? You know, you see that episode is relevant today. Yeah. Like if your pastor is fat, how can he fast for you? Did you see Boniface's belly? Did you see his belly? How can man be sitting straight and the belly is leaning? And then he has started conversation with you know I'm a pastor. And the girl said, oh, he said, yes, I know you're a pastor. Yeah, you know you're beautiful, right? He's boasting. You know you're beautiful. Of, the reason he says that is boast, he's, he's, he's boasting of his authority. He's boasting to say that. You know, you know what it is in that, cult, in, in that Nigerian culture for someone to say, oh, oh, I'm a pastor. Automatically, you command respect. And you command this safe environment yes. of saying, yeah, I'm a pastor. Pastor, oh, listen. So he's saying that, oh, listen, I'm a pastor. So you are, you yourself, like, you, you understand who you're speaking to. Like, I can change your life, you know. I, that's, that's basically what he's saying. For me, I'm, I'm sorry. I, as a, as a person, I just, I can't understand You as it. a pastor, isn't it? No, as a person. I just, I it's just right, can't pastor. understand it. I can't understand why someone... Of the, the of something that rules in Nigeria, which is a, 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 a denomination of money, you are going to go and ask students when you have okay. They don't have money. Wait, wait, they wait. don't have money. Let me finish now. Let me finish. Let me finish. Um, last week or was it last week when my my um my brother-in-law came here, he was saying something about university in Nigeria MFM finding students for not going for the general vigil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were suspending students and finding them 45k. Mm -hmm. Students don't have money, right? According to the story, the GO of MFM didn't even know they were getting suspended mm -hmm. and fined. Because MFM is not just a school alone for Christians, they're mm -hmm. Muslims, they're everybody. So how can you suspend students MFM, for not going? That no matter of fact. Yeah, 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 they have a university in Nigeria, ah. which accepts everybody, right? Mm. So the GO was really mad and it was like, wait, hold on. How can you suspend oh, and fine? Wait, 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 wait. Right. Well, no, this is what I'm saying. He said, how can you suspend? So he wasn't aware. So he started, like, obviously going after all the lecturers. And there's students that are coming out saying, oh, this one find me 20K. That one find me 30K. And they were collecting the money, but they weren't reporting the money to the school. Mm -hmm. So you, I want to correct what you're saying about students don't have money. Okay. Wait, these, some of these students that got fined, yeah, the 45K that actually was the main issue, some of them paid because they didn't want their parents to hear about mm -hmm. it. So they went to hustle the money. This is what I'm saying to you. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's, it should be accepted or it should be acceptable. Nobody should, apart from reading mm. and writing your exam, you should not do it. So basically what part. you're saying is that is of pastor, all things. Pastor, what's his face also is not, it's not all right. What kind of also is that? Also that guys, is, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is payment coming in different wait, forms. Wait, wait. That as, kind of, as he said, so payment yeah. come in different forms. Some yeah. of them offer money. Yeah. Some of them offer yash. I agree. The collection of yash yeah. is for that him. That also is a stupid hustle. Because that also <laughs> is costing him money. He bought non-alcoholic wine. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went to one drink milkshake in the restaurant. How stupid can you be as a man? Listen, guy. Or because you want to chop his toast, uh, not toast. The guy, is he, bro, you acting like you went in the game. I was to, never in that game. You have to try it in the no, game. No, I was bro. never in that no, game. No, I'm talking about the game of seducing. Sedu the game that's of, not seducing, man. That's what you bro. Mean. That's not seducing. Listen, okay. That's Sorry, seducing. yeah, because your your level that's is not, high. That's not. And we not, all want to get to your level. It's not by level. Like, no, it's true. Your level, your level. Of, you got game in it. It's mad. No. You, I know your game is mad. It's cool. Like I see, I see your babe. Like you do well. Right, cool. 
But you have to understand, yeah, that these guys, their game is is different. They're using the their social understanding of what it is. And for them is to just buy you drink here, you know, buy you that to to make you familiar with them. Mm. Right? Because once you're familiar with them, it's that easy for them to now start talking waywardly. That's what it is. So like it's mad. It's mad. But I mean, it's crazy. Like, as a lecturer, you're saying, "Oh, if you sleep with me, I I'll give you a higher grade." Now, most of these girls, in their defense, have said no. I think majority of the girls will say no. At majority first. of these girls will say no. But it's the it's the pressure that leads to it. After that, and I swear, like for me, I always say, "I want girls." Like I want girls, I want girls as a, I want to, I want to have a daughter. Mm -hmm. But when I, after watching this sex for great, I'm, I'm like, thank God, I don't live in Nigeria at the moment. Because I think my request of having a daughter would pass quickly. I would change, they're going to change my prayer. I mean, like, that's, that, I think that's the issue that obviously they're facing because it's such a patriarchal society that a lot of these men will get away with it. A lot of them, it's it's part of the institute. It's some even though the university would deny it, deny it, but no, the university. That's the good thing. Yeah. Nigerian institutions are good at denying stuff. Yeah, of course. And protecting their own. But in this instance, they've stepped forward. But one thing really shocked me, and this was like ten minutes into the into the documentary, guys. Please, if you if you haven't seen it, just type "sex for grades" on it's, on YouTube. It's the first yeah. thing that will come out. It's by B, you know it's legit because it's by BBC. Well, it, by BBC or sold to the BBC? I don't know. I think it was by the BBC because it's on iPlay as well. If you want it's on iPlay as well. If you want to watch it, I think what one thing that shocked me, even though I've said okay, Nigerian University, uh, the university did not deny it, mm -hmm. it's the fact that they only just passed the rules and regulation in two thousand and nineteen. I mean, come on! Yeah, but you have to understand. 2019! And that's probably when they probably got rid of the, the Ogak Patak Patak. Oh, that's when they knew this documentary was coming out. Probably. Probably. You never. All these things you don't know because, like I said, it's part of the institution. Unilag, they. Hey, bro, there's been. Mad, I've had mad stories of what happens in Unilag. I've had mad stories. One day we're getting mad to come on this show and tell you <laughs> stories, bro. There's been mad. The, when I say the stories is mad. It's mad. This pastor, yeah, he was. Do you, do you know how come he was mad confident? He was mad confident. Cause it's not his first he, time. That's what I'm saying. He's he wasn't. From it. He, movie is long. He wasn't trying to vet. The the process of vetting was out of the way. Mm. He was just like, listen, like this is regular. Have you ever been kissed violently? Oof, <laughs> mad. <laughs> have you ever been kissed? And he goes, I'll kiss you violently. <laughs> no, it's it's the fact that. Oh, white <laughs> thing. He's so stupid. <laughs> he goes. He sat there. He said. <laughs> Do you want to kiss you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that's when that's when she asked for clarification. At first he goes, you know I want to kiss you. <laughs> that's it. I want to and then she goes, you know I'm not talking about kiss now. And he goes, I'm talking about he getting said, no. admission. <laughs> this girl was, according to the to the um, investigation, was 17 yeah. trying to gain admission. And then she, she she's talking about girl and said, I you know I want to kiss you. And then you now go, she goes, I I'm talking about getting admission. Do you want to kiss you? Kiss you. And you're asking over like an elderly man. And I'll come here, come closer. Don't touch me. <laughs> come closer! And you have me to kiss you violently! <laughs> no, like seriously, I, I'll never understand how, like you said, the vetting, it was, yeah. he was so confident that the so vetting confident. period had gone. Yeah. He didn't think anything could come of it. Like, he's actually a, a predator. Proper, yeah. Like hands down, stomach hanging back. He goes, Oh, let me give you the cold room experience. And then he switched off. <laughs> Like a bastard, <laughs> you know what I mean? like absolute bastard, this guy. Like it's mad. Like I'm, I'm laughing because it's the only way I deal with stuff. The only way I am able to process any form. So can I give you? Let me give you a cold room experience. <laughs> cold room. Oh, speaking of uh, wayward pastors, another one. Has entered, please. And uh, listen here. Yeah, this is why I say being a pastor is no joke. Like if your pastor is fat. <laughs> Can you fast for? Can you intercede on your behalf? I, I keep know. saying it. That's why I, I keep saying no, it. The reason I say yeah, being a pastor is no job. It's a difficult. It's a difficult position to be. Like, like I'm. I'm afraid of pastors that don't understand their giftings. Like I don't let, understand. Let me, let me cut you quickly. All the pastors that get in trouble, they have a certain silhouette of their body shape. <laughs> 
they all have a certain body shape. Yeah? Let me tell you now. They all have a certain body shape. Even the Koza pastor self. His cheek is overglowing. Belly is popping. This is what I don't understand though. Every pastor that gets accused, go and look at them. Look at their profile. They have a certain body shape. Yeah, and the body shape is not diligent to that of someone who served the Lord fervently. <laughs> Far, there's the difference between serving God and serving him fervently. Fam. Yeah, continue. So um so yeah, uh Pastor Wilson of the Pastor Wilson <laughs> you know, yeah, when, I, when I first heard this, yeah, after uh, the, uh, my, uh, my mind automatically went to Charlie Wilson's like because I was like, no, but it's like, no, it's Pastor Wilson. So this pastor <clears throat> has been caught. Well, I don't think he's been caught. Basically there's a viral video of him basically in a porno of somebody that's not his wife. Self-recorded porno. Self-recorded porno. The consistent <laughs> nah, like, man like pastor and munching munching them tum tum. Like he was enjoying life. And then they found out that it's actually his secretary. What? Yeah. Okay, now let, let's clear one thing, yeah? Not to be sexist or whatever other terms are. Women. Hold on. Hold on. Women. And this goes for my future wife too. Spit that bars, B. If hey, go, 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 hold on. Hey, DJ, will you talk? Will you talk one time? Listen. Will you talk one time? Hold on. Will you talk one time? time? He goes, he goes, he goes Will you talk one time? time? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If, as a man, I have a secretary, there's nothing wrong with having a female secretary or a male secretary. Oh, bag me or no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> if my father has a male secretary, let that be a lesson. <laughs> if, as a man, I'm not saying you should deny a woman a job because you want to make your wife happy. But, should in case you have a female secretary, women, please, Men, first of all, let your head be correct and don't be stupid. Don't, <laughs> don't go and be gallivanting with your female secretary. Don't be stupid and be causing infidelity in 9 to 5. That being said, women, make sure your husband's secretary, if she's a female, is ugly. <laughs> no, 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 that's not even good enough because this woman's ugly. Okay, and she must be fat. She's fat. I'm not body shaming. No, I'm not. I'm not lying to you. Yeah? I'm not body shaming. Pastor Wilson, mad. I'm not. I'm not body shaming. I'm wait, not body shaming. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure she's wait. unattractive. Wait. Just say she has to be opposite to your wife. There you go, fam. Yeah. Opposite. Just add to the collection. I'm telling you. And it is just your add to the and collection. women. Make sure the secretary does not make him coffee. Does not make tea, does not buy him lunch. It's all happened to be a professional at work. For, mm, yeah, exactly. Mm. Just print the paper mm. and get the paper. procurement paper to be signed. That's yeah, your job. Yeah, yeah. Organize the calendar. There is no foreign trip with the PA or secretary. No foreign trip. Should be a lesbian. Should be a lesbian. Bonnie lesbian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lesbian this, this is an alleged woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. Don't, don't shit, don't shit, don't shit. That's the alleged woman that he's talking about. I don't want to so get So all of that, yeah? I don't want to get That's sued. why I said to use the word alleged, right? Mm. So this, all of that he just said fit into this category. And yet, Pastor Wilson still munched on the tum tum. Listen. Video day and munch. Listen. All I'm saying is, yeah, men, let's be guided. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be very guided. I'm, honestly, now I'm very tired of saying our oh, women, these women, that men, let's be guided. Facts. Because guess what? I don't want to say. You can't trust them. Hold on. No, I don't want to say the secretary did not put it on him. But I'm sure the pastor was putting it on her. For me, that's the story I'm going with. Yeah? Because men, if a woman comes to you, I know it's not easy. See, my, my thing is this, yeah. I know it's not easy. Let's not say it's easy. Yes. You know, with women, I, I want to say women have more tolerance control. And, control. and say, you know, get the behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Men, if, even if the secretary is putting it on you, my guy, record it. Yeah? Record it. Now you have grounds for dismissal. <laughs> you understand know, what I'm saying? You cannot be saying, eh, and I was looking, I was looking, I was looking, I was looking. 
Now I can't do it. No, record it. Record. Write it down. On the 30th of June, a secretary this came to my office with Shimi. Secretary this did not tell me she was not wearing pants. Secretary <laughs> this. Write it down. If it's the secretary that is putting it on you, especially as a man of God, if the secretary is making you lost, fire. Fire. ASAP. Fire. It does see this is not against world protocol. This now nah, isn't you have to understand, yeah. The house of God is treated That's what I'm saying. He said flee. He, he, he flee. My guy, carry your carry your yard, carry everything. Run. And flee. Run for your life. You are not even bold. You say she should record your Blackberry bold. <laughs> you're, you're a nuisance. <laughs> that pastor wish is a nuisance. It's a new, I know they say don't go against don't, don't abuse the man of God. This one as as yeah, oh, pardon. This one is not a man of God, right? Now that we are speaking of, it's a new sense. I'm very bold. It's a new sense. How long has this woman been the secretary? Fam, this is not the first time that this has happened because because they they've got multiple sex tapes out. Imagine. So it's even worse than I can apparently, allegedly. Yeah, you are, you are you wait hold on. Let's let's okay, let's be real as human beings now. Let's be real. You are committing infidelity. Okay. The flesh is weak. We understand. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> we are all human beings. Sometimes some people's want is not uh, chasing women. Uh -huh. It might be eating mcdonald true the flesh is weak true true, true. we understand the bible say don't eat pork true we go and eat full english the flesh is weak <laughs> <laughs> that's for some people okay. you understand yeah uh -huh. but in this case you're a man of god uh -huh. first you know you are crossing the line by toasting you didn't stop there because uh -huh. first you will not sleep a straight away uh -huh. you do like bunny face you grab me and breast <laughs> You be feeling up. Uh -huh. You're crossing feel the line. Feel ups. Then you now reach the sexual intercourse part. I know maybe the first time you did not go down. Uh -huh. It's okay. You now reach the part that you are going down on the woman. You know that's when you now say, "Oh, you put flash." <laughs> you are a mad person. <laughs> you know you are already committing sin. Then you want to have record of the sin. Even when you go to on your way to hellfire, and the a group now say, "Actually, wait. We don't have record of you committing sin." And Jamaica be like, no, 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 there's memory card. What is wrong with people? Wow. That you are committing sin already. Why, why are you fascinated with recording? It's part of the thrill. Was he aware that the woman was recording? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. They have multiple sex They've got multiple sex tape. Then it's, it's a genuine it's, it's, part, it's part of the thrill of, of, of fornicating. You have a wife at home. Ah. It's not bad that you can get caught, but you are leaving evidence. Oh, boy. That's what I think. People judge the Reaper was not that stupid. <laughs> Somebody that was killing here and there. Right. Your alignments are just mad. I'm today. just telling you. Your alignments. So you've got the Reaper. Yeah, so judge the Reaper. The Reaper. Who write letter and cut it out from newspaper as letters. Because <laughs> he, he did not want to leave every day. A whole pastor with large congregation. <laughs> you, now, you now say, you know what it means to actually say, okay, we are naked now. Let's record. You have to open the app and open the camera and then set it and then press record. Yeah. It's a lot of effort. Yeah, it's it's all boils down to. It's basically what we'll be basically talking about. It's just the abuse of power that people feel like power. But this case was not abuse of power. It's though. not it's not abuse. Well, it's abuse of power from the extent that his position. How? They, no, they were having consensual sex. She didn't come out to say he yeah, raped her. No, she or he sexually no, harassed her. You have her. to understand that she probably wouldn't have went there if it was somebody else. But the fact that her her attraction to him was that he was pastor. That would okay. That's not his fault. If you if she's attracted to him because he's a pastor, that's not his fault. No, it's, it's no, it's a papa's fault. No, hold on now, wait. Us, it's just like a girl going to you like you may, maybe you're a public speaker and the girl says, yeah. oh, I'm attracted to you because you're a public speaker. How's that your fault? That's that's. Do you know what I'm saying that? Yeah, it's, it's it becomes yeah. my fault yeah, if I use that as a president to then. Corner, corner. No, but the attraction is already there, though. Yeah, but you don't listen to what I'm and saying. And if she no, says... You listen to what I'm saying. Right? If I use that, my position, yeah. to sleep with you, that's an abuse of my position. Depends on what grounds, though. Listen. And when you're saying yeah, sleep what? with me, don't put your hand on my shoulder. <laughs> don't, put, don't put your hand on my shoulder. Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> this whole episode, you've been touching me. You've been talking about sexual harassment. All you're doing is touching, touching. 
<laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't understand though. And then you sent another video, Pastor Christopher Obi. Pastor Christopher, man, there's no pastor, but like they just come in at again. Pastor Christopher Obi, go and check his pastor. body for. Your dad is a pastor. Yeah, my dad will be married for 37 years. Shout out to my mom and dad. Pum pum chum 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 chum. Listen, for every pastor that you may get caught, don't worry. There's always a good one out there. There's all they always good no, great there, there, there are loads of loads. great pastors. Loads. Yeah, there are loads of good pastors. It's just that the fact that you only hear about these stories because they're bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's no fault of the media or whoever's leaked the tape. It's the pastor's fault. hundred percent. You should never put yourself in that predicament. A thousand percent I agree with that. You should I never be that. in a position. And they should be shared. And if you're in that position, don't record. <laughs> don't record. It's the realest thing I can say. Do you know what, it, do you know what it is here? Yeah? It's like, it's basically just here. Yeah, if you're gonna do bad, I, I keep saying, and you want to do bad, be good at doing bad. Don't be, don't be rubbish. Don't listen to us. It's not about just the don't truth. Do bad. No, no, that's what I'm saying. If you want to do it, like for instance, yeah, this why this why I couldn't be a criminal. Like I've thought about it. I've thought about plans of, of doing all sorts of madness. Like, but I, well, I think I've thought about being a G boy. I've thought about the execution you know the process. That's what I'm trying to tell these guys. I thought about the ex execution process. I remember one time one of my guys sat me down here when, when he just started with his AC business, and we sat down and we talked and went for it. You know, and that time my brother was working in the bank. My brother just got promoted. So I sat down with my brother and then like. I was like, listen, this is what we want to do. And my brother told me the ins and outs about AC. I was like, ah. You did do diligence. I said, I said, ah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, this guy did criminal, <laughs> criminal do diligence. I said, fam, I, first of all, this guy that I'm with, he's not really that reliable. So if things went up, guy. yeah, if things went up, he'll probably shade me. So I thought, ah, I don't really think I can do this, you know. So I backed out. Like, because I couldn't, I know full work. You know why you backed out? Why? You have Benny sense. No, that's I'm not. I'm telling you. No, no you have that, that Nigerian sense. No, the truth is, matters here. Yeah. I always say to things here. If anything you're gonna do here, yeah, mm. try your best to fully execute. If you're gonna do bad, mm. bro, be great. Be a doing, bad man. Be a great at doing bad. Mm. That just be just so that history book, like he just mentioned Jack the Ripper, he's a bad man, straight bad man. He got caught. No. Uh, he got who, caught. Who, who, who Jack the Ripper? Did you not get caught? Hell no, all some crimes, bro. Oh, there you go. Oh no, I was I'm was thinking about the other guy. Ted Bundy. Yeah, no, not Ted Bundy. There's another one. But anyway, continue. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. If you're gonna be if you're gonna do if you're gonna do the crime, fam, be dope guy. Don't get caught. Don't do don't make and if you're gonna get caught, let's like let's say that you get caught, but maybe it's because like, the, the people that caught you, they were just they were just on job. Lucky. They were just on job. Like there was no it was just one of those things. But don't get caught for silly things, man. Get to since and that no guys, I'm signing out, man. Anyway, before we sign out. So in the case of yeah, this so sexual that, harassment, this thing, no, in the, for this university, okay. what is the what what can be seen as as a solution? For me, I would, I would always go back to it. The fact that you know their results aren't computer based, they're not computerized, is a huge problem. Because most of these girls, the reason they why are, no no the reason why they get Emma, sorry, it's not computerized. There you go. You are during the uni is computerized. Huh? He said no, no federal, no federal university there you go. is computer. The reason why they have one up on, on these girls who have been victims is because they keep holding their results against them. Yeah. You take that power of holding that result and it's held with a certain body in school, yeah, where even as a student you can go and log in. Mm. Yeah. It's there. Guy, a lecturer can still fail you, don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah. A lecturer can still fail you. They can still fail you. But not to the extent you have your manuscript. Yeah. They can't do anything about it, man. They can't. If you sit in the exam and you marked it down, say you sat the exam, you can always challenge your paper if that was computerized. If it was computer based and you go online, you say, okay, I'm seeing my result. In Nigeria, I think they still release result on notice board. <laughs> no, stop, stop, <laughs> yeah? stop, stop. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They still release result on notice board. So instead of you saying, oh, we Unilag, Apart we stand. From private unis. Apart right? from private universities. Yeah. If a uni like Unilag says, oh, we, we don't stand with these lecturers who are committing these offences, the, it's, not, it's not good enough for you to just have rules and regulation in place. Even that rules and regulation, I'm sure it's on paper. Yeah? You can't go on the internet and read it. Yeah? <laughs> I keep saying it. Yeah? I'm saying it. <laughs> Take the power away from the lecturers. In terms of determining, like, they can determine grades by marking grades, whatever. But in terms of, you know, saying this is... In the documents. This is the document of the way. Take that power away from the lecturers and see what, what they do next. 
If a lecturer goes, you're not going to pass the class or God do your worst. Then when the paper come out, they have to make sure that every paper is scanned on the system. Go and employ people. People need jobs. Employ them to scan the paper on the, on the system. You only need to do that once a month after the exam. Let, let it be a whole month. You know how in uni for freshers, yeah. as, an, as, a, as a current student, you can go and work yeah. for one or two months. Let them do that. It's true. Let that be the NYSE, uh, part of NYSE rule. It's true. Take the power away from the lecturers. Vote, Take vote, it away from vote them. Vote for Allah as the next president of Nigeria. Yes, and your life will be better. Yeah. Now, your life will be way better. First lady in the house. First lady in the house. Anyway, that's. Hey, this is this is. Please don't go and don't go and talk. I I now only you call. I you can't call. There is no do. Don't go and do that one. No, she's British. She's British. She can't she can't come and be embarrassing like that. Stella not go school. <laughs> she not go to school. This is what I'm saying. When the lady was like, all oh, the ex president go to this school. But she did not go to school. Imagine how can you be first lady? Come on, why? Come on, level you don't have. Come on, level. We don't even know if she finishes her uh, uh, yeah, she, she was born at a time where she, she finished where education system wasn't, wasn't was not com com wasn't common. It was there once. Uh, the it guy was just passing, so I was she played. It wasn't I was like, oh, mama, I like this girl. Yeah, nah, country they young. <laughs> nah, the president they young. Yeah, until that country changed. And by the way, I want to get this off my chest. Yeah, this is Nigeria in the whole and Africa in the whole. Did I see anybody celebrating independence? They may God punish you. Independence from what? <laughs> this is the same problem we're having. Yeah. Independence from what? Why are you independent from? First of all, the Oyibo people come, they take you slave. Then you are now celebrating every year, say, ah, it's been 60 years old, they stop oppressing us. And again, on top of that, the people in your country are still oppressing people. Any UK promoter that does a uh, Nigeria independence next year, may God punish you and your generation. Because I don't know what you are promoting. You are making money off people suffering in Nigeria. You are shouting, even Nigeria itself is not celebrating Independence Day. Yeah? No, Only Kilox. No, they didn't celebrate. Because we don't see my way, they suffer when they cheer our happy independence. They cheer. How's the country done for them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Every year in this place, you'll be printing green banner and green flyer. Anyway. Guy, all man must chop. Man must chop. I went to a private school from. From when I was young till when I finished, that I came here to do masters. Nigeria has done nothing for me. That's coming from a true citizen. <laughs> Nigeria has had zero effect. I'm, 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 don't get me wrong, but I love Nigeria. I love that. You are, you are a bastard for saying that. Nigeria has done nothing for me. No, I, I love This it. guy is a bastard for saying that. Nigeria, eh? Nigeria has done something for you. See, no man, no. Let's be factual. What, what, has, done, what has Nigeria done? The fact that you can come here and slide into the educational system no, is a lot. I went to a private uni. I paid, I, I paid millions. Yeah. I paid the millions. lecturers, are they from abroad? Yes. Who? They are, they are Chinese. No, no, apart from AGK. AGK is the only lecturer that, that's Nigerian. Hey, put the camera school. on this guy. Put the camera on him. Put the camera on him. Put the camera on him. Turn, no, no, turn the camera. They have to know who's talking. And then AGK, yeah? AGK didn't this one, school this in Nigeria. One. <laughs> AGK didn't win school in Nigeria. Where did this school? It's called in the UK. So which uni did you go? Oh, you, you mean in Nigeria? Yeah. yeah. Benson also in. Yeah, it's a private uni. So you mean? I oh, in Hausa. Yeah. yeah. I pay. I pay my school. So none price. of your lecturers were Nigerians. No, they were all Nigerians though. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. They didn't study. They didn't get their their documentation from Nigeria. All of them. Yeah. yeah. So they see so, that this is the problem of Nigeria. How can you have a private school in Nigeria? People are paying millions, and you are importing lecturers. They're not importing lecturers, yeah, the lecturers, lecturers are Nigerians, yeah. but they didn't get their PhD. What does that say about the Nigerian educational system? Ah, uh, it says all my see, We all have problems. No, but that's not, but it's a private that university. In Nigeria. Uh -huh. And so, not, you, you think the private school here? Wait, Listen, wait, 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 You think the private secondary school here? Yes. You think the lecturers are, um, get the education from here? Yes, they do, so man. They they Come on, man. Now. Come on, man. They do, man. I it's don't, only, I don't believe that. It's only higher we have, we have two of the top ten universities in the world. Did I, see, did, I, did I mention university? I said secondary school. Because I know what I'm talking about. I secondary school. I did mention university. 
Yeah, but he's talking about music. I know he's talking about, but when I say that, I talk about We're well, talking about music. Imagine you know, Oxford, yeah. all your teachers sound like they're No, but that's Mexico. different though, man. That's different. You can't compare it's that. It's part of the problem you, you with having that country. You can't compare the institution of It's part Cambridge. of the problem you're having in that country. You can't. In the, in the mass school now. Hold you're on. comparing wait, Ferrari wait, to wait, Fiat. Wait. In the mass school now, yeah? In the mass school now. In, in this school in Nigeria, in this school in Nigeria, in this, the lecturer did not school in Nigeria. Hold on. Let's say the lecturer now go abroad, come back gay, and he's telling him, man, you look butch, I like you, and you bend over. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, BIU. Don't do that, BIU. No. He will shock you! No, they won't do that. BIU is a Christian university. Oh, our pastor Winston is not a Christian. Guys, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. Our two, our two, our two. We are. Our pastor Boniface is not a we Christian. Are, we are, we are. You know I'm a pastor, you know? Like yeah. You know you're beautiful, you know? The guy said it like five you know you're beautiful, you know? Guys, hey, make sure to subscribe for our show. Hey, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, anyway, my whole thing is to solve the problem of Nigeria, take the power away from lecturers. To solve the problem of sexual harassment in, in universities, it is rampant. Nigeria. There's a big banger. Federal universities. Guy, I don't want to limit it to federal. It's happening everywhere. Everywhere there is a male, there's a problem. Everywhere there's a male and a beautiful male, there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem. Anyway, peace out. We love you. Please subscribe. We thank you very much for you know all our viewers, the consistent ones. I think the last view we had uh, for being away for so long. We appreciate your uh, your viewership. Thank you very much. Even though the ones that are close to us don't view the video. Can you it's imagine? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's the one. It's the one that are close that do you what? In it, as your rabbi would say. And they would say even Jesus was homie with Judas. In it. Paddy Paddy yeah. and you still be trading with the kids. It's okay. So, Don't worry. Thank you very much. Keep promoting. Some of them even sleep with you in the same bed. And let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. Please put a comment down below. How can a problem of uh, sexual harassment be solved? We know women we need to be raised better. And for those of you that have, that have encountered um you know sex for great, please I'd like to know if you if you done the deed. Or what your experience is. No, I just know if you agree to it. Oh, okay, you, you, you most likely <laughs> you most likely be a Nigerian anyway. Or Ghanaian. Anyway, thank you very much guys. Peace out. I'm Tola. And this is us. Love this you. is Big Loud Mouth. Peace.